Let's take you live to France now. We've closely been watching these tractors in a convoy outside Paris. Hundreds of farmers converging at points around the outskirts of the capital. This is part of their continuing protest against falling incomes, rising red tape and competition from imports. Uh, we know that uh, there are a lot of police on the scene as well. I think 15,000 was one estimate trying to stop them coming into Paris. Let's take you to Bethany Bell, who joins us now from just outside of Paris. Bethany, I think you're near Charles de Gaulle Airport. What's been happening there? Well, you can see the line of tractors behind me, which is blocking one of the main motorways uh, into Paris near Charles de Gaulle Airport. Um, we were driving along with uh, one man who uh, is here with his, so uh, his son-in-law, who's been driving a tractor. Uh, his son-in-law has uh, a, a horse stables not too far from here. And uh, the man we were speaking to, Lucien, was saying things are just impossible for farmers here in France. He said it's very hard for them to um, compete with other countries in the European Union, which have lower standards. Uh, he was complaining about um, the low cost uh, of food and, and the challenge as well that the green agenda is posing for production. And he said well, you have the ridiculous situation, in his view, that uh, you had products um, that were being sold uh, in, in France from countries like Spain and Italy which had lower standards than France, but the French farmers were the ones who were suffering. Any disruption to the airport so far, Bethany? Um, at the moment, uh, we understand the, the airport, they're, they're trying to keep that area free. This is the A1 motorway, which is the motorway between Paris and Lille. Um, as you can see at the moment, it's blocked here. And uh, we asked Lucien how long he was prepared to stay here and he said we'll stay as long as it takes. And what about the police presence, Bethany? We saw one report of about 15,000 police and some of them are armoured as well with the vehicles. Yes, there are a lot of police out and about here. Um, and what we've seen here is that the, uh, the demonstrators are cooperating with the police. They were waiting in a side road before they came onto the motorway. They came onto the motorway uh, with the police uh, leading it. But yes, a very, very uh, big uh, police presence here. Um, and uh, as I said, a great deal of anger from the farmers. One uh, farmer told uh, French television a little earlier that they wanted to make Paris starve. Anger from the farmers, Bethany, but have you been able to gauge what the public response to this has been? How much support do the farmers have? There is certainly sympathy uh, for the farmers here, but there's also, of course, concern about the disruption that this causes um, and uh, a, 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 an understanding that uh, this is something that may take some time uh, to work out. You know, the proposals made by France's, France's Prime Minister um, a couple of days ago didn't go down well, um, and um, it seems more concessions will be necessary. Um, but uh, at the moment, feeling... Uh, Certain, certainly that this is a, a difficult situation and the farmers are digging in their heels. Bethany, thanks so much for joining us from just near Charles de Gaulle, just outside Paris, and we'll keep across uh, some of the disruption and what those farmers are doing as well throughout the day.